Happy Tuesday. One day I decide to wear white. Of course it starts raining. It never rains around here. It's probably our last time together shopping at Ross today. That way. Do you guys think Lucas would like this tie? It's kind of got a glittery look to it. I would wear it. Yes, this tie right here. It's amazing. OMG, look what I found. Lemon candle. I can't find lemon candles anywhere. This is so exciting. I'm getting both of them. It smells so good. This is the cutest, smallest cart I've ever seen. Look how like little and cute it is. All right, so we're gonna play some racquetball today. You excited? Look who I brought to play racquetball. Yeah. Michael's here too, but I guess he beat us. But Bad anyway, racquetball. today is a uh, member appreciation day at the gym, so we can bring friends. So yeah, we're gonna play some racquetball. We got another buddy from work. His name is Mitchell. He used to be a uh, two-time junior racquetball champion. When he was 12, isn't that right? Yeah, 12. Like that. Last year, right? Right, yeah, last year. Yeah, That's not true. I don't know if he's played before or not, so we'll find but out. I think he is like 13, though. Yeah, but it's going to be fun, so we'll see what happens. We're probably going to end up killing each other. So somebody didn't bring their ID in. Somebody didn't bring the new racquetballs. That's true. I forgot them in the car. But now we have to climb these stupid steps Whoa. all the way back up to the top. Whose idea was to put steps at a gym? Jerk. Actually, it makes kind of sense. But it's still annoying. Ladies and gentlemen, the victors of game one. That's right. That's right. Man, that's, that's pretty nice. You have nice glasses. Mine are good. We beat these guys. That's Mitchell. That's Michael. We smoked them. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. They're in a cage. They're in a case, a glass case of emotion, and they can't hear me. I'm mouthing them, and they don't know it. They were horrible, straight up horrible. They're the worst I've ever played against. Right, Tom? Worst. They were bad. They were bad. We're gonna go beat them again. We'll be right back. Hmm. Remind me not to mouth Michael and Mitchell. They kind of just smoked us. That game went pretty fast. There they are, right there. How does it feel to beat us? Does it feel awesome? Feel good. Feel good? Chumps. All right, so it's one to one. We gotta have a tiebreaker. We gotta have a tiebreaker match right now. It's going down. All rides on this. Yeah. Well, that did not end well for Tom and I. It did well for us. These two we're guys the smoked us. Hey, hey like, the lady messed me up. Yeah, dude. Like we're playing, and this lady comes up and like knocks on the door to like clean the court, and then she just stands. She's like, no, no, you can wait, and it just stands there. It like totally, like got in our heads, and she. Wait. Oh well, it was a fun time. Now on to music. Some days I go into Target just for fun and some days I go because I have a stack of coupons. Today is a coupon day. I'm gonna get some goodies. We got some good couponing stuff at Target. These are so delicious. They were only with coupons $2. A piece normally I think they are four dollars a piece I think I got some hefty storage bags for only like a dollar thirty a piece you always need storage bags oh I got some cough drops they were buy one get one free and 40% off with cartwheels, so they were like 60 cents a bag. And I got paid to take some of the Starbucks coffee. That's pretty awesome. And I got some gum for like 16 cents a piece. Always need gum. So yeah, I think we did pretty good. Oh. And this is on sale, and I had a coupon, so it was like a dollar. <laughs> Bobby really likes this stuff. $1.25. You like that stuff, don't you, Vazzy? I know, you do. I shouldn't feed him that kind of stuff, but he's just so cute. Except for today. He has not been cute today. This little guy has been a monster today, haven't you? You have been a monster. He has growled and pretended to bite me like several times today. I say pretend because he does the like, but he doesn't actually like 
bite down. He's just saying I'm mad. I don't know what's made him so mad today, but he has been a brat, right? Are you feeling better? Are you feeling better? Hope so, because whew, I can't handle that. I am so excited about these. I'm gonna light one right now. Come on. Very difficult. There we go. Yay! I love it, I love it, I love it. Yeah, yeah, at the studio, we've actually been here for quite a while now. Uh, but we are still experimenting with the, uh, the Periscope app, and I think we have it figured out. Yeah? Yep, we got it. Yeah. We got it down. So, we can now input, like, all of our microphones and stuff, like, see all those things? All these microphones and whatnot? I can't... That's hard to do. Yeah, there we go. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that microphone. And his guitars, Tom's guitars. Wait, wait. We can play them all through our system and, like, level them and then put them straight line in into the phone. And so you're hearing, like, well-balanced audio rather than just kind of crappy phone speaker volume. We've been working on it for quite a while, and we're pretty excited. Yes? Thursday. Yes. yes. Or, well, I don't know when this video is going up, but Thursday the... What day is that? The second. We'll probably do our first... Right oh, now, like, like live, I am filming this. It's on Tuesday. You will be watching this, and it will be Wednesday. Thursday night... We will, is, is which will tomorrow. actually be your Thursday night, we will be live. We'll be performing some stuff live on Periscope. So again, check us out. At SOTC underscore band. SOTC underscore band on Periscope. We're also on Twitter, so, you know, because we linked them. So check us out there, too. So yeah, so we're excited. We're going to get this going. Woo. Yeah. So, anyway, change of subject. Earlier tonight, we were playing racquetball with, uh, with Michael and everybody. And he, what, he, he posed a question that Tom and I, we don't, we don't really get what he was going for. Would you rather be blind or, he thought I said dead, as in D-E-A-D, -E but I said deaf. Oh, you posed the question. Yes. So Tom poses the question to Michael, would you rather be blind or deaf with a F? Like, you can't hear. Michael thought he said blind or deaf? Is that right? Death. Deaf? Which, that doesn't even make sense. So blind or dead. So those are his options, right? Blind or dead. What blind did the fool dead. choose? Dead. Dead. He chose dead. You'd rather be blind, right? I don't, of course, yeah. He's like, think of all the things you'd be missing out on if you were blind. Think of all the things you'd be missing out on if you were dead! Right? <laughs> right. What the crap? There's so many, like, awesome blind people who did so many things. Especially in music. Like, Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder. Ray Charles. Mozart. Right? Wasn't Mozart? No, Mozart was deaf. Yeah. Deaf, right? Deaf. I believe it was, no, it was Beethoven. Somebody, somebody was deaf, and then maybe yeah, somebody was blind. Which one cut off his ear? Ah, oh, shoot. I don't know. Anyway, music people have been handicapped and done amazing things. And this fool decides he wants to be dead over blind? Tom and I cannot be alone on this, right? Mm -hmm. We cannot be alone that we Tom would rather be blind than dead. Right? I think so. Yeah? I think most people would agree, right? You'd agree. They would have to. Please, in the, in the comments, tell me, you guys are on our side with this, that it's re Michael has to be alone and wishing he would rather be dead than blind. So again, in recap, we'd rather be blind, and Thursday night, we're going to be live on Periscope. Yeah? You guys cool with that? Tom, you cool with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, I got to go home. Look who's home! Yay! I haven't seen him all day and it's almost one in the morning. And he finally comes home. Finally. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm tired. <laughs> Probably. I would imagine so. That was a long day. Alright, well I guess we better get him to bed. Mm -hmm. I'm so close. <laughs> you are Look so how close, close I am You're to bed. You're almost there. I'm almost there. <laughs> Bozzy knows what's up. 
He's already in bed. The little devil dog. That's what I called him today. He was a devil dog. He was like not himself. We'll just say that. Lucas came home and I told him, I was like, he's not my dog. He is your dog today. And I like listed everything that he did that was bad. And my mom was like, it kind of sounds like he's like your kid, which Buzzy kind of is like our kid. But you know, like when the dad comes home from work and the mom's like, I've been home all day with this crazy child. And this is what he did. And this and this and this kind of sounded like that. Yeah. It felt very much like I was like, great. I'm going to have to go up to his room and have a have a man-to-man -man chat with him and find out why he's acting up for his mom <laughs> and why he bacon. just lays here and adorably pants when I come home. He's good for his dad. No, actually, he's usually good for me and bad for Lucas. Would you say that? Mm. Not bad, but like he, it, usually if he's going to growl at someone, it's usually you. Yeah, it's true. He gets aggressive with me, but he knows how to play you. Yeah, that's true. He doesn't try stuff with me. Or at least continue to try stuff. He'll try for like a second and then he realizes pretty quick he's getting nowhere. Yeah. So he gives up. But you, he knows. Just stay persistent, keep whining, keep crying, and she'll give in. It's true. Alright, well, go to bed, Lucas. He's already fallen asleep. So close. <laughs> and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good night.